education really is. It's powerful stuff. I don't think I've ever really ever wanted to do anything else. Children are our future, so <laughs> I'm doing my little part to help the future. Erica is just outstanding at fostering relationships with students in her classes and then beyond that she's a master at her content so she makes learning come alive for students. I love to see kids who when I introduce or discuss something they want immediately to go look up and find more information about it. I love that they are that fire is lit in them and they're motivated to go um, and learn and discover. I may be using information or using curriculum that I've used for years before, but I will find when I'm in front of a group of students that their needs look different, their interests may lie in a different area, and so you kind of on a day-to-day -day basis see where your kids are at, how quickly they grasp a concept, um, and then you tailor and adjust based on that. Becca's a great teacher. She is 100% all in for kids every day, all day. Um, it's hard to find somebody who has that much compassion and caring for kids and their families. She um, intertwines a movement with everything that she does in her classroom um, and her kids just love it and stay you know, super engaged in everything. The kids are really my inspiration and why I'm here. So I always try to make sure that I am putting them first. I love getting their hugs and smiles. And when that light bulb comes on, it's one of my favorite things. I think a lot of our job at the preschool level is getting on the floor seeing the kids, um, going to the third level, and it's really starting with the basics of, you know, this is how we come in, this is what we do, um, and just kind of starting from the ground up, and then I think it sets a very good example for what they should do going into kindergarten and grade school. Aubrey Taylor is a fifth grade teacher at Logan Elementary. One of the unique things about her is her ability to like build relationships with her students and then also she's very active and involved in not just our school but also up at the high school. She coaches volleyball and basketball. So very, very embedded into our Seaman community. I guess my favorite part about what I do is the relationships. Um, you know, I get to spend a lot of time here in, at Logan with, you know, elementary age students and then I get to go after school and I get to spend time with high school students. And so I just have like a wide range of kids I work with and getting to know all different types of kids and through school and through sports. Audra is one of our third grade teachers here at Northern Hills. She has been teaching for a while, so she's one of our veterans. She's on our uh, building leadership team. She's the leader of her grade level team. Um, she is a, a person that definitely will chime in when she thinks that something could be better um, in the building. And she does a, a fantastic job, primarily reaching our kiddos that sometimes can be the hardest to reach. Just being there for the kids, listening to what they have to tell you. Uh, I do a lunch bunch with my kids usually once a week, once we get it up and running, and I will have a group of five and just being able to talk to them on anything they want to talk about and knowing what they're interested in, um, getting to know your families and showing respect for the kids throughout the day. I mean, we want them to respect us, so we have to respect them as well. And that really builds the communication and the relationship make those connections with kids and to help them know that maybe you can't read this year but you're going to be able to read. Just when you see their faces light up and they just know they have it, it is just very powerful. Rachel Stewie is an outstanding educator. Um, she truly loves kids and you can see that every time you walk into her classroom. Uh, she's excellent at building positive relationships with her students and goes over and beyond to meet our students where they are and individualizes instruction to ensure students are successful and that they reach their full potential. Rachel has um, a passion and enthusiasm for teaching and she's very creative and her lessons are highly engaging, making learning fun and exciting for her students. There is something about seeing a five-year-old light up and smile when they learn something new, when they discover something, when they just, and they just come to school happy. They, they still love the teacher. They wanna hug the teacher. They wanna tell me all about everything. And that is just 
I feel like I'm making the biggest difference. I see the most growth in kindergarten. That, you know, they, I have kids who come in who don't even know how to spell their name or write their name, and then they leave and they're practically reading. And it's just, you see the biggest growth in kindergarten, and that makes me feel like I'm making a difference. We had a need that came up in our special education department, and being the selfless uh, person that Gwen Jowers is, she stepped up to fill that much needed role. It takes a special heart to be a teacher, um, to be a special education teacher, it, it takes an even, an even bigger heart and a more special heart. Um, you know, I think that I think that sums it up pretty well when you see her interactions with, with, with students, uh, building wide, even students that aren't on her caseload. Um, she demonstrates that day in and day out. You've got to really look to the kids for your rewards. Build those relationships. I think that's really important um, with your kids, but also with families. Um, you know, and just always come at it from you know. Um, the perspective of you want to you want to be there to help them. I just love seeing that light bulb moment with kids when they can um, light up when they finally get something and they're working so hard and it's especially in this job it's so fun to see that growth especially like the first group that I started working with in kindergarten is now in second grade and so just seeing how much they've grown and learn you know all the things they've learned over these last three years it's super exciting to watch that. Cassie Cowan is very clearly a leader in everything that she does. She's the kind of person that anticipates a need, anticipates a request, and compensates for it in advance of the need being present. If I know what is the best practice for these kids, then I will advocate for them. And I'm, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not shy about doing that. As a leader, a teacher leader, she mentors others. She supports parents. She. Uh, creates schedules that are considerate of what the people's needs are. But when she's with kids, she has a softness and a care for them that makes her the kind of teacher that every parent would want as a part of their child's life. And that's her gift. No one likes to be critiqued. However, it's how you learn and grow. And still to this day, I'm learning and I'm making mistakes in the best way. Um, you grow is to not do it again. <laughs> and so you just, I think you, if you're not still growing and not still making mistakes, then you're not trying very hard. And, and I hope I never get to that point. I believe any good quality that I possess came from the teachers that I taught with. So I learned from the best, honestly. Mary is wonderful um, as far as you know her relationships with students and her relationships with staff. She does a great job meeting kids where they are and helping them to um, work through any challenges they might be experiencing. She's always willing to try something new and embrace our, our new things and so um, is a great voice and advocate for that. Um, still stays up with like technology and use, using those pieces to teach kids, but also like with her team. So very much enjoys working with a team and brings that team spirit. Learning, gaining, absorbing new knowledge is a fantastic way to be a better teacher and to be someone who stays in the profession. If you're allowing yourself to be open to those opportunities, I think that's the key to it. She does a great job of, you know, connecting with kiddos. Um, a lot of times you'll see um, Mary's the kind of teacher who is, you know, up front teaching like the whole group lesson, but then is like, come sit with me at the back table, you know, and so come over and work with me. Let's work together to solve this. Really that, that feeling of we're in this together, um, and we're going to get through this together. It might be hard, um, but we're going to get through it. I want to always make sure that I'm adding more to what's just there in a book, if I can possibly do it. I feel like that's always comes back to the connections with the kids and the families and the co-workers and the other staff across the district. That just energizes me to come back every, every year. I go, oh yeah, here we go. I feel like that is kind of what really keeps me coming back and having fun with it.